Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together devotion for today. And this week I've been talking about women of the Old Testament as our devotional uh, theme. And one of the things that amazes me is that you know, we could take some music and some songs and put them with people in the Old Testament. For example, if you think about Sarah and Abraham and their story together, Sarah's theme song seems to be, Stand by your man, because she does in a faithfulness that is so j just overwhelmingly, it's almost absurd how much she puts up with. Twice, Abraham pawns her off as his sister to get a better business deal or to save his own neck. Once, you know, he, he, he finds out he's going to be this father of great nations and stuff. You know, he, he hears the call of God to pack up and move. He, he, tell, he just comes home and tells Sarah, hey, hey, we're leaving. We're leaving Ur. We're, we're going to a promised land. I don't know where it's at. God's told me it's there, but we're going. And she goes. She follows and goes along with everything that Abraham's doing. Even when he tells her, me and Isaac are going off for a sacrifice and there is no lamb or, or ram or anything going with him. It's just him and Isaac. You got to be thinking about who she is as a character. Here is a woman who listened in as, as Abraham talked with God. And yes, she giggled, but she's a woman who is willing to go to great lengths and extents to try to support her man, to try to be there and to be supportive in the relationship that she has with him. Now, yes, you could talk all day long about the context and the fact that this was a time before our context where women in those days found their identity within their men, you know, and how, yes, that's not appropriate nowadays. But think about also the partnership that they had. Would Abraham have made it anywhere without Sarah? Would Abraham have been able to do any of what he was doing without her faithfulness, without her support, without her, not standing behind him, but standing beside him, helping him through all that he was going through. She was even willing to give up her bed and have him go and, and be with a servant. It's absurd the lengths that she was willing to go to try to make the dream, the call, whatever you want to call it, that Abraham had a reality. Now, there's some other parts of the story, too, her jealousy of, of Ishmael and things like that. But I'm not as focused on that nearly as much today as I'm focused on the fact that she had a faithfulness of following and being there and supporting through it all. I, I wonder how many of us have people in our lives. It doesn't have to necessarily be your married partner. I hope it is if, if you're married. But... but how many of us have people that we know we can count on to support us that way? Who, who have that loyalty to the, a level of being willing to, to stand there with us? Good, bad, ugly, laughter, sorrow. Who is your Sarah? Who, who is the person that you know you can count on? And go and give thanks to God for them. In fact, let them know how thankful you are for the fact that they are with you along this journey. When you do, you'll find we truly are better when we're together. Amen.